Hey everybody, Mark Back to Comics and I'm back. This time I want to talk to you about some of the Hot 10 comic book back issues. Um, more specifically, the number one issue that showed up on Comic Tom's 101's channel. If you want to hear more about that sale, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Um, so this, this time I want to talk a little bit about the uh, recent video posted by uh, Comic Tom 101's Hot 10 Comic Book Back Issues featuring Gem Mint Collectibles. They usually um, release the uh, Hot 10 uh, Back Issues uh, every Wednesday, I believe. And uh, you can go on their channel and you can see it. It's one of my uh, uh, favorite videos to watch of the week on their channel. I like to see what's, uh, what's been streaming, you know, what's been getting some record prices, what's hot, what's selling, you know, so forth. So um, I usually like to see those on a week-to-week -week basis and kind of just, you know, see what's, what's starting to heat up. So, um, you know, within the last couple of weeks, obviously, anything Moon Knight related has been very hot. Um, and this week it showed up as the number one back issue um, book on the hot 10 list so um, I wanted to talk a little bit about that and um, so basically I wanted to just um, put up the video real quick and uh, you guys can check it out she won the first solo series the first appearance of the Bushman, the first appearance of Khonshu, the god that Moon Knight worships. This is what starts the legendary run that Bill S. would do. This would spark so many Moon Knight keys and interest in the character, and has low-key been on spec radar of comic collectors and dealers for over 10 years. We have a 3.5 that could have been secured just in April of last year for $35, up 114%. Now hitting 75, and I suspect that's going to be 100 soon. Moving up to the high grades, a CGC 9.4 sold for $256 back in December. It's up 29%, now selling for 330 And now we have two different 9.8s to discuss. One from CBCS, one from CGC, but both happening on the same auction. The CBCS 9.8 hit $716. The prior record was set back in November for $1,350, so that's pretty low. But the CGC did not disappoint, an increase of 26%, now selling for $1,700. What do you think about those differences, Jim? Man, that doesn't make a strong case for the CBCS. So, uh, so you saw that video, and um, what I ended up doing is I ended up messaging in the comments down below is which auction are you reporting from you know the Moon Knight ones and this was you know three days ago I didn't get a response back so I figured I'd give him the uh, some time to respond back because I was honestly interested in seeing where that record $1700 price came from so uh, since he didn't respond back I figured I'd do some investigative research myself so I went on to three of the major sites that I typically go for when looking for record prices and um, obviously the first one you you think of is eBay so uh, let's go on eBay and let's see what we can find alright so uh, he said that a record price for a CBCS 9.8 well a recent price for CBCS 9.8 sold for I forget what it was let me just see there we go 716 all right so let's go on eBay and uh, let's see if we can find any CBCS prices for uh, that price and we'll filter it out by recent and uh, let's see what we get. Here you go. This is the most recent sale, January 30th, 949. Hey, you know, that's that's a pretty strong price. Um, 
now we're going back to early January not a singular price here and uh, see now we're getting into November here's a thousand dollar price I think that's what he said was the record price that's all the way back in November 20th so uh, I, I don't know where that uh, this week's sale of uh, $700 came from let's go on to uh, let's say heritage all right it's all CGC these are all sold listings so nothing on here we'll get back to that CGC and uh, Comic Connect as you can see here all CGC as well not a singular sale of a CBCS and uh, I'm not going to refer to Comic Link because unless you have that saved you can't really find those prices. Comic Link seems to be the one tricky auction site when it doesn't make it easy to find sold, sold listings. All right, so uh, I'm going to debunk that sale of $716 just because I can't find it. Um, we will see that obviously that $1,000 sale is the current, I guess, record price for the uh, CBCS. Well, let's now go into the CGC sales and uh, we'll obviously get a much stronger sale for the CGC 9.8s than we would for the uh, for the CBCSs, all right? So um, he said, I believe it was, all right. So, so the previous record was in November for 1350, and um, I think he said 1700. So new record this week. That's the key point right there. So um, the uh, key thing he said there was 1700 dollars this week. So let's take a look. All right, just scrolling through. February 5th, so that would be considered yesterday, 9.85. That's a, that's kind of a bit of a red flag. 9.58. All right, a couple days ago, best offer of 1,100, so it's probably a thousand dollars realistically. Um, whoa, that is a huge difference. $799, $800 just three days ago, which I believe would have been the same day that that video went up. So <laughs> $800, okay, we'll continue, we'll continue. Um, let's see, what else can we find? Uh, I don't see any other stuff. 980 so now we're going back to January 31st now mind you the trailer I think came out on January 18th it was during the playoff game so we would have expected some really high prices then which would have been outside of the this week's sale got a thousand dollars there let's just uh, do something different and filter this out a little bit I'm gonna filter this out Instead of having ended recently, which would have you know fallen into his uh, soul this week, let's go by highest price. See if we get anything different. All right, so this would be the key tail here. If we can find anything here, um, uh, January twentieth. Okay, nineteen hundred dollars. This is signed by Bill S. He did not mention anything about a signature book, so I'm. A, going to assume it was a blue label. So I'm going to disregard all of these sales. And obviously, a signed book by Bill S. is definitely going to have a substantial premium over a, a blue label. So, uh, you know, but these would not fall into what he would say was this week. So let's keep in mind that record price there, which would be 1900 um, which is far off of from what he said, $1,700. All 
uh, we got a January 26th, 1325, um, which I think would probably be a record sale for this book in a blue label. I could be wrong. I don't have GPA, so I can't quickly reference that. But uh, I'm going to say, based off of the information I have on eBay, 1325 would be the record sale for this book in a 9.8. And it's in a direct, not a newsstand. Let's go to the other major sites. Let's start off on Heritage. Because uh, often you see record prices going up on Heritage, and then they kind of have that trickle-down effect that you see on eBay. So um, let's go by recent sales if we can get some here. January 10th, 960. November 1st, actually 1140. There you go. Um, let's just so, and it's actually filtered up by high price. So there's nothing, nothing here recent. This is on Heritage. And these are just going down and down in price because it's further back in time. And then the last one we'll go into will be Comic Link. I mean, uh, sorry, Comic Connects. We can't track Comic Link. And um, the most recent sale on here was actually in December, December 17, 2020. <laughs> it sold for $343. What a steal. Looking at it now, just a few months later. So, um,. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, I could not find that record $1,700 sale that uh, he was referencing on the uh, channel. Um, I messaged him. He didn't get back to me. That would have been pretty helpful because then I could have looked it up and then like, all right, then I wouldn't have to make this video. Um, so I don't really know what to think about the um, Hot 10 list. If, if I can find just by quickly searching on the three major auction sites, not a singular sale of that exact amount for $1,700, I start to question the legitimacy of the actual hot 10 list and the recorded sales. So um, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Um, and let me know what you think of that record sale. It's actually, from what I found, that record sale would be $1,300, which is very impressive. Don't get me wrong. I think it's overvalued at that price. Um, that's just my opinion. But um, I can only go by what it's currently selling for. I did not find it for $1,700, so it gets me to question that top 10 list. So uh, outside of obviously what's selling is what's selling. You know, copy sold is copy sold. But when you report a strong price like that and I can't find it, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. All right, guys. That's it for this time. All right, Mark's with the comics. Out.